Hey everyone, and welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage, bringing you another video to help keep your Mustang on the road and out of the garage. So today we are working on this super awesome 65 inline six car. Um, we have an issue with the timing advancing on acceleration or on load. So there's some really good articles that I will post links to in the description uh, from Ford6.com that are very helpful when it comes to understanding this, just in case I don't get everything out of my brain <laughs> and onto, and onto uh, film here. Um, but essentially, um, I'm gonna show you how to test that your vacuum advance system is working properly. Um, and try to explain the, to the best of my abilities how this system works. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna show you how to test your vacuum advance. Okay, so here's your 1100 Autolite carburetor if you're running one of those. Here is your vacuum advance line that comes up and over and then this will have a threaded port that goes into the distributor, okay? So what I like to use is just my a little handheld vacuum pump. You can get uh, you know cheaper versions of this at Harbor Freight and little Mighty Vacs. Um, but we're gonna pump this up. Um, you know you don't need to pump it up crazy high, but you know 10 inches of vacuum. And what you're looking for is if it's holding. If it is holding a vacuum, then that's obviously a very good sign because the diaphragms inside the vacuum advance can leak. You know, the fittings can leak, the line can obviously leak if it's cracked or something like that. So that's good. So what you wanna do is at the same time that you do that, you wanna watch your distributor to see if your timing is actually advancing. Okay, so what you wanna do is just kinda, you know, watch this entire assembly just kinda rotate. Um, and what I'm simulating is the engine under acceleration or load, okay? So as you open your carburetor valve or your Venturi butterfly valve, whatever you wanna call it, you're allowing atmospheric pressure to enter the engine. And so your manifold vacuum actually goes down and this, is, uh, this line, this port is gonna be on a ported vacuum controlled via the, the spark control valve. Um, and so I'm just kind of simulating what's gonna happen there and that's gonna give you your ignition advancement that you want when you accelerate because you want more timing advancement as you accelerate. So what we've demonstrated is that is working properly. It holds vacuum, there's no leaks there. So that's good. Okay, so that is essentially how to test to see if your, you know, advanced system is working properly. Um, but what if it's not working properly? What if uh, when you have your timing light on this and you're revving the engine or accelerating and your timing is not advancing like how you should see it? Um, well, that's where you kind of need to, you know, understand that these systems are controlled. The vacuum is controlled via this spark control valve. Um, I think they call it that because it's controlling the ignition spark advance. And so it's a spark control valve is what they call that. So if you're running into that issue, like I would probably go right to that spark control valve and, and swap that out. So just kind of like a little understanding of how that, of how this Lodomatic distributor works um, with the spark control valve is, um, the 1100 carburetor, it uses like a like a mixture of manifold vacuum and ported vacuum or Venturi vacuum um, to, you know, supply the spark advance um, with the Lodo Mag distributor. So the way this works as as your RPMs go up, the manifold, the, the manifold vacuum um, or the vacuum inside your engine is going down because you have atmospheric pressure rushing into the engine. And so your manifold vacuum actually drops. So your vacuum signal 
um, becomes uh, becomes weak, uh, uh, too weak to provide like an adequate uh, spark advance to you know advance your ignition timing. So the way they do is uh, they use the spark control valve. Um, so as the manifold vacuum drops, the spark control valve then closes and the carburetor kind of switches over to a venturi or ported vacuum uh, through internal passages in the carb. And so um, as that engine kind of runs faster and brings in more atmospheric pressure uh, and has less vacuum, um, it's able to supply, still supply vacuum through your lines um, and, you know, advance your distributor. So, so that's kind of the roundabout way how that works. Um, so hopefully that provides like a little bit of understanding. So if you've tested all that and verified that it's working properly, um, you probably need a spark control valve um, more than likely. So uh, it could be other, you know, clog passages inside your carburetor that need to be worked, but um, that's probably the first place I would go. So um, spark control valve, swap that out, see how that does, check your timing, um, read a little bit on the Ford 6 uh, you know, articles I'm going to post links to. Uh, very helpful to understand how all this works. Okay, well I hope that provides like at least a little bit of insight as far as how these systems work, how to you know do some basic tests and checks and kind of see if everything's working. Obviously if you're putting vacuum on your line and it's not pulling the distributor, your vacuum advance might have failed, there's a diaphragm in there that leaks, um, uh, or if it's all working but it's not advancing, spark control valve is probably going to be at fault or just you need to go through and clean the carburetor and all the passages and whatnot. So. Um, anyways, I hope you find that helpful. If you hadn't had a chance yet, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It does help us tremendously. All those little things kind of go uh, a long way when it comes to being able to keep making videos to help you guys. Um, so uh, subscribe, like, comment, all the cool fun YouTube stuff. So, And uh, we'll catch you on the next go around.